So what is the difference between the person that drives this car and that drives this car? We would easily want to judge and say the person that drives this car is rich. And we think that the person that drives this car may be broke. But guess what? It's all in perspective. What if the person that drives this car is into cars and the person that drives this car is not into cars? So we got to learn how to change what we think change where you see things because when we change where we see things we change where we live your perspective is your reality how about if i told you that this person was a multi-billionaire and this person is a millionaire know the difference Tapping in. yeah that's pretty interesting pretty interesting what she's saying and she's absolutely right i i think she's right because there's a book called the millionaire next door and it's by William Danko and another author, or maybe I got the names mixed up, but it's called The Millionaire Next Door. This book taught, explains how millionaires don't go out buying the lavish, most lavish, expensive vehicle or foreign vehicle. They're practical. They believe in buying Hondas, Toyotas, uh, maybe a Lexus every now and then, but not, not necessarily. Because they, the reason why they don't buy Many of them don't buy luxury cars like that. It's because the expenses. They would rather take that money and invest it. As opposed to spending high maintenance on a luxury vehicle. You see what I'm saying? And it says, you, would, you wouldn't even realize who's a millionaire. You wouldn't know if a millionaire lived right next door to you because they don't have all the material trappings. They, as a millionaire, you would think, the average person would think a millionaire would have. You see? So what she's saying is absolutely right. Who is a millionaire? Do we judge a person based on their material possessions and material trappings um, as far as their status as being a millionaires? Or, and we look at somebody with, driving a Honda, we don't think it's gonna be in, that person's a millionaire. So it's how we perceive things. It really boils down to that, how we perceive things. We can have a millionaire standing right next to us or right in front of us, we just have a pair of loafers on, slacks, and a polo shirt, and we would never even realize it. And we'll look at somebody with name brands, Gucci and all this stuff like that, on their clothes and say, wow, that person is rich. See? It's all about perception. All about perception. And sometimes our perception is wrong. So she got a point. Think about it.